This introductory video demonstrates an application of the posterior axillary sling traction. One of the ways to resolve shoulder dystosia is by the posterior axillary traction. When we use the fingers to hook at the posterior axilla, outward traction is applied to deliver the shoulders. However, fingers of some clinicians may not be strong enough to do so. The use of a sling has been proposed for posterior axillary traction. A plastic catheter can be used. However, a plastic catheter is elastic, therefore the traction force is less efficient. Also, great tension may cause neonatal injury such as skin laceration. Furthermore, both methods primarily use direct outward traction against the outlet obstruction. Hence, we have modified the technique. We use a ribbon gauze to form a sling. It is tough but inelastic and readily available. A knot is tied at its end. The knot is easily held and identifiable. We use a right angle forceps to then grasp the knot. This forceps is long and narrow, and its tip can easily be passed beneath the axilla. Here we highlight the differences between the original and our modified technique. 1. A ribbon gauze is used to replace the plastic catheter to form the sling. 2. Instead of using fingers, we use a right angle forceps to facilitate sling formation. 3. The primary mechanism to resolve shoulder dystosia is by rotation of the shoulders with the sling. A tangential traction force is applied along a circular path to achieve rotation and an outward movement. Here is the demonstration of the technique. In summary, use a long and tough ribbon gauze to form the sling. Use a long right angle forceps to facilitate sling formation. Use the sling to rotate the shoulders. Thank you very much for watching. To learn more about the technique and management of emergency obstetrics, please visit our SOFI website as listed below.